Hey, welcome to High Footy Five, a discussion about the future impact of this week's tech and world news leaned towards the singularity. I'm Nathan Waters. I'm Tristan Grace. Welcome to High Footy Five. Dun, dun, dun. We've changed up again this week. We changed yep. up last week, changed up again this week. <laughs> we're going to do four stories, then we're going to talk about a singularity topic, then we're going to... And we have a video response! Awesome! From this so dude called... Like... I think his name's Ollie? Smolly? Ollie? He's really cool. But yeah, we're going to talk about... It. What are your stories? Great. What are your two? Uh, my two stories are about this guy called the Eyeborg. He's pretty cool. He's got a camera in his eye, and it's red. And then the next one is about the rise and fall of bookmarking on the web. So if you're like me and have thousands of bookmarks, you should, uh, yeah, listen to this. <laughs> Uh, yeah, mine is uh, a pre-alpha video of Diaspora, which is the Facebook thing, Facebook competitor type thing, um, and also a DARPA thing that uh, they're working on, which is kind of like Transformers, pretty cool. Sweet. Transformers? Yeah, well, it's Score. not really, but I'll explain that later. <laughs> okay, well, I'll start off with the eyeball, but I'll talk about Transformers and all of this. This is awesome. Check out a picture of this guy in a video. I've got the video up here. It's this guy called the Eyeborg, and uh, what he does is that he, he lost his eye, and uh, he's a Toronto-based filmmaker. Film, uh, filmmaker. Filmmaker. <laughs> Whoops. It almost and, sounds uh, like film raper. It does. It does. <laughs> um, so yeah, this guy, he's, he's replaced his eye, and is just now pretty much, it's a, just a camera, really low voltage camera, it's like very small, and it automatically streams to the web, which is pretty cool. Uh, it streams to a computer, it's not online yeah. yet, sorry, it's not online yet. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. He's got a red LED in there. So as he walks around, you just see like a glowing red LED yeah. as you're looking around there. And it's uh, pretty damn sweet. And uh, yeah, just check out some of the stuff about this. It's uh, it's pretty cool. So, yeah, I hate to bore you story, but this is old, isn't it? No, not really. It was it was his prototype was one of the best inventions of 2009. But like he, he's made, he was doing an ongoing um, recording of it, an ongoing film about making the eye. I remember. Yeah, well, I, I remember yeah. that, but yeah. This is just going up because it's still going straight to the computer instead of storing any of it in the eye. And yeah. it's going to go start going, uh, yeah, further than that, actually just have it streaming directly to the web and all of that. And it is just the beginning, kind of. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. Well, more, more so it's just the video. That would be really cool. It like, would be. Like, massive live casting. Yeah. And he's interviewing cool. people because he, he's a filmmaker, like a documentary guy. Yeah. And he wants to actually just film people when they're not sure. Oh, so he's going to, like, interview them from the, the eye? Yeah. Oh. And then he'll say <laughs> afterwards what you if you um, agree with it because That's having a, a camera creepy, in your face, yeah. yeah, that could be done the same way with say like um, so earrings that, or mm. a brooch. From I can see like being like massive uh, privacy yeah, issues. Yeah, he that. actually acknowledges that. Yeah, but um, yeah, I guess someone tells you a secret that. Here we go. He says yeah. there's ethical issues with that, but I'm a filmmaker. Damn straight, keep the dream mm. alive. Mm. Yeah, now this, this is this is cool. There's really no other word for it. Just cool. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my one's about uh, Diaspora, which is the Facebook, uh, I wouldn't say clone, but it's like the the, pri the privacy conscious face Facebook. They got yeah. a lot of media attention because they um, it's just these four guys from I think uh, MIT or Stanford or something like that, one of those schools. Uh -huh. Um, and they got like a bunch of money, like over a hundred k from this uh, donation site. Fuck, I forget the name of it. It's like. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Yeah, uh, I've tried it there. Um, but anyway, uh, what it is, and I've only actually recently grasped this by looking at this uh, pre-alpha video, which you should have a look at. Um, it is distributed social networking. Right. Which is is good in the sense that uh, the problem with Facebook at the moment is they, they're all on, the, on Facebook's uh, servers and they control everything and you go through Facebook and everything is all owned by Facebook. Which is great for Facebook because they can use that data and make some really crazy ass, you know, power hungry 1984 stuff that will make them billions, trillions. Yeah. But what this is is distributed networking. So in other words, I had to zoom in on the on the sort of Earl to to get this sense of what it does. But I could have NathanWires.com running whatever script this diaspora thing is, and you could have TristanGrace.com running this diaspora thing on completely different servers. So the data is owned by us, right. so on our servers. But when you post anything or reply or interact, it seamlessly works between the two. Cool. So I post something here, it instantly shows up on your on your feed. And so you actually own the data. It's kind of yeah. like the protocol for it or something. Or sort yeah, of I think they're, I think they're creating a protocol. I have no idea how they're rolling it out. Though. That's the interesting thing because who the fuck wants to buy? Like ninety percent of people won't want to buy their own dot com and yeah, set no up hosting, hosting and install stuff. that script. Yeah. But I think there'll be vendors that will actually have like free hosting, free uh, have their own, yeah. free domain, whatever. I, I thought a good idea would be to have like a top level domain. Yeah. You know how they, they're done oh, before, okay. Like, like you could have like tristangrace.me, but even yeah. though that's already done, but you can yeah. have 
a free have one. Have an actual go there. Where it, that is your <laughs> social identity. That would be pretty cool. That identifier. Yeah. So you could also go like, uh, if it did actually take off and stuff, this idea of decentralizing it all and stuff. Like, mm. I mean, you look at Facebook likes, you look at how it's just integrating without throughout the whole web. It could be mm. that anything you ever submit... Well, that's odd. <laughs> anything that you ever submit, you actually own. Like, it installs on your own servers that you actually own yeah. it. Like, say you submit a comment somewhere or, like, the same way as your Facebook like, you could always own it. Which I think it's pretty cool. But, yeah, again, you're right. That I mean, to actually launch this thing... There's another one... Uh, there was yeah. another... There's been many similar things like this that like they'll be the Facebook without privacy concerns, but they just don't get off the ground. It's just a network effect. Yeah. Well, that's that's why Zuckerberg invested in them to start with. Yeah. He's like, well, I, he knows it doesn't. It's not going to take over, but it'd be interesting to see what they come up with. Yeah. Because if there's any innovation there at all, then Facebook would just be like, sweet, I'll take that. Yeah, that's, that's true. Cool. It is pretty sweet. Like I was thinking, that'd be cool if Facebook actually offered a option where you could install a Facebook profile script on your website. Yeah. You would use that, wouldn't you? Yeah, Imagine yeah. You, it, rather than going to facebook.com to use Facebook, imagine if you could just go to nathanwaters.com or Tristan Well, see, well, I, I get what... what it, Facebook might get screwed. I don't see that it'd be really any different. No. So it's, I probably wouldn't use it. I'd probably just well, go to Facebook. Yeah, well, see, they wouldn't They wouldn't offer a decentralized. They'd still have all the data route through them, so it yeah. wouldn't make a difference. But, I mean, they, they could then claim that as distributed social networking, but it yeah, isn't isn't yeah. really... Very true. That way, <laughs> that way they disseminate all the disseminate all the claims against them. And yeah. That's a good point. Um, Interesting. Oh, yeah, I'll go on to my next I, one. The, sorry, the, yeah. sorry just, I think that's where it needs to go, though. Like, social cloud, that kind of does it all. Yeah. There's many different ways. Since I, I still yeah. don't see many flaws with Facebook's model. That I mean, sure, it's got the, the privacy mm. stuff and everything. And, but I, I just don't really see it as a diaspora, 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 uh, yeah. diaspora um, actually fixing an issue really yeah. I mean it's cool but it's again the the problem isn't large enough I don't think yeah anyway. follow them see yeah. what they do I'm, I'm interested to see what they do yeah it's kind of kind of sweet yeah um, I'll, I'll go into the next one which is uh, yeah it's this article about the rise and fall of bookmarking on the web which I thought was pretty spectacular because if you're anything like me you have maybe like a thousand bookmarks it's always like oh I'll read this later I'll, I'll totally go and view this like it's a really massively long <laughs> article and Always don't. bookmark it. Yeah, never do it. Never do it. And so this was a pretty cool article from uh, techie.com. A pretty awesome, pretty awesome name. Yeah, these guys have... Oh, I love their icons. Yeah. <laughs> one right here. They're pretty, <laughs> they're pretty graphics. Yeah. And so, yeah, it's just uh, speaking about, well, you know, just that, that, that this is a big problem and how we're really not bo bookmarking any much anymore or like we are, we have the thousands. Mm -hmm. Then he um, comes to the very end, something we've spoken about before, but uh, saying how we're now creating systems, say like, well, Twitter is a good one here is that uh, producing uh, content engines that always just give us the stuff that can recommend what we need. <laughs> maybe the browser, here we go, maybe yeah. the browser will be smart enough to save content on its own for future benefit and future reference and then be able to uh, able to identify our browsing trends while displaying relevant content from our past, which I thought was pretty cool as well. So this, it's just recording what you're always doing. And so like if you've seen this cool article before, it knows that you've liked it. So it'll say, yeah, you know, this connects to that other article you read like a week ago. You can start building like massive mind maps and everything from it. How cool would that be? Okay, uh, go to Jalapnik's story. It's about... Uh, that's a site. Transformers! <laughs> it's about... Okay, the, the title is Military Scientists Invent Transformers. Come on. No, they haven't. Oh, they totally did. They have not. I saw them fighting in the sky the other day. It was terrifying. Okay, it's a DARPA Big initiative. <laughs> How much would that suck if they invented Transformers and they just didn't tell us? Yeah, I know. They're just like it's around fun. the place. Just like... He's going to... Yeah, um, okay. What they've done is... Um, it's not really Transformers. It's a DARPA initiative. And what they've got is it's kind of like an origami type thing. Like it's a, a flat, thin layer film. But it's made up of uh, polymer tiles and 25 thin foil actuators. And so what it does... No idea what that is. Boy. You'll have to watch the videos because they're watching it right now. Oh, okay. It. So basically, it's a fi it's think of it like a tissue sized thing, mm -hmm. or what do they call them in the states? Tissues, tissue boxes. No, they don't. They call them 